morning guys. It's uh, July 31st. It's about 9 o'clock. We just came back from our first setup. We're running three baits this year here at Maine Outdoor Productions. Um, we got my little brother with us today. He's kind of our pack mule, so he's doing all of our dirty work with spraying of all of our scents. Um, he's up there right now with the vanilla, and we got a couple other extracts that we're trying out this year, um, a cherry and a watermelon. But we got our grease that I've already pre-mixed with molasses. Um, so that's been soaking since last bear season. I've got, had all this stuff in my basement um, ready for this year. We got two pails and then I got some pastries that we're going to throw in this bait. Um, the first bait we were at is a brand new site. That site I think is going to be the ticket. Um, we're about a half mile from a bog swampy area and it's in the middle of nowhere. It's about an hour drive from where we are right now. So that spot I think is going to be our ticket for really getting into some big bears, but we're at the spot where Logan shot his last year. Um, we did move this bait site up another 60, 70 yardish um, into the more of the blueberry barren kind of boggy area up there. So um, our bait is surrounded by natural forage, which I think will be huge because um, they'll have more than just our bait. So if they run out of bait or they um, whatever, they uh, will have some other stuff to eat right around it. But this bait site is pretty easy to access, so we're gonna keep on top of this. Our other two bait sites have a little bit of a walk, so we uh, have cell cameras on those so we can monitor um, what the activity is. So if we need to get in there and bait again, we can. Um, so just give you a quick little update. Um, we got some clips of baiting earlier. We just really needed to get that bait site set up, so we didn't really do a lot of talking there. We just wanted to get in, get out, um, so we could get our other two done. We're not trying to be out all day. We're going to bait in the mornings this year. Um, a new thing we're trying out because um, Logan can go after work and I can go before work. Um, so anywhere from that six to nine o'clock range will be when we're baiting. We're going to try and do it the same every day. But like I said, the cell cams and our other two spots will let us know if we need to get in more. Um, and then this spot we're going to kind of do every day or every other day just to um, keep up with it. But this is like I said, Logan shot a bear out of here last year and. Um, the sign is looking pretty good for this year, so we'll keep you updated, do some videos every now and again um, throughout this August month, um, getting up to leading up to opening day, but it's looking good for Maine Outdoor Productions, so stay tuned and uh, we'll bring you some fun-filled uh, month of August. Hopefully we get some bears on here by, by Monday. That's our goal is to have bears on our baits by Monday, but we're hoping tonight, but we'll see. We'll see what happens, so stay tuned. So far we're right here at bait number three. Gonna grease it up and we're gonna be done for the day. We'll get right to it. Or, climb up and see what you, what you think. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'll definitely climb up to take a look. Alright guys, so we're officially done. Uh, bait number three today. And uh, we've actually got a, a natural root system bait. So it's not your typical, um, you know, 44 gallon barrel or even your 55. But we got the bait site right here. And then we've got our setup right up there. I'm not sure if you can see it but we got a nice little block where we have some really good cover so we can stand up when the bears come in. We've noticed that they've been coming um, right behind the camera, coming straight down like this and also using this trail and coming straight in. So Sean's okay. doing the look. We've had bears all of, all of July coming through here just from natural movement. Exactly. Yeah. So, and we're actually gonna be able to get on a jump start this year. Last year we, we started baiting, I think it was like the second or yeah, we, we were waiting for the guy to email, email us back. Yeah, so, 
but this year we've got a good jump start bait looks great all of our baits look great so now it's just a matter of time for the bears to come in and start getting a little snack so appreciate you guys tuning in but we're gonna get all this packed up get out here and enjoy the rest of the saturday Hey, so I heard you have a bear problem. Hey, I got more than a bear problem. I got big bear problems, okay? <laughs> Dude, unreal. Unreal. Right, guys well we're heading back out this morning to do some baiting and um, man I gotta tell you guys for the first week of bear season we are very impressed with the amount of bears that we've been getting on camera and ultimately coming into our bait sites we've got what probably three three over for 200. sure shooters that are probably well over 200 pounds 250 one, one that's probably over three and then one that's probably pushing right at 300 um, but Obviously, we'll splice in some uh, some pictures for you guys so you can see them. But so far, we're, we're having a great uh, beginning of August, and hopefully, it'll continue. Um, we're actually heading to down Route Nine right now to head over to Sean's family's camp, and that's where we've got um, our third bait site. And we've just been having a bunch of raccoons on it. Nothing, no bears, just coons and. And crows but so for the first week I mean that's kind of what we expected I yeah mean, it's a brand new bait site yep. never been baited in that area um, that we know of they've never baited so you know it was kind of just you know we know there's a lot of bears in the area so we were like all right and they offered for us to let us bait so we got we got a site there today we're just going to re-grease you know get it smelling good again mm. uh, spray some extract in the air just to um, you know get those smells back out there but we're not too worried about the coons. If they really start to get into the food, then we'll we'll figure out a different plan. But um, but it's good though because you know it's going to spread the scent around, and if the if a, a bear that's that's working the area, it's roaming around, smells it, he could get interested and come in and check it out. So yeah, and that's what happened with Logan's bear last yeah, year. We had a exactly. family of raccoons on it, and then as soon as the raccoons were there, um, we just re we greased a lot last year. That one, that bait site, we greased a lot. Um, and it panned out towards the end of the year. So we know there's bears in the area. So we're just, I know there's a lot of natural forage still. So that's, yeah. once that starts to die off, we'll be all right. Yep. So we're going to be heading um, over there. We're actually currently over there right or heading over there right now. We just stopped at Dunkin', grabbed some coffees and stuff. And, uh, and we're actually going to be meeting up with Ryan a little bit later this morning, around eight o'clock, so we can hit our other two bait sites. Those are the main two that have been getting hit the most. And uh, last night we had a huge black bear smoke. Um, the same bay I shot my bear last year. Honestly, he actually messed up the barrel so bad that he, he actually squished it. So we were just talking about, you know, potentially having to put a metal barrel in there just to make sure they don't destroy it, so. When we say he flattened it, he sat on it, he bit it, he threw that thing around the tree. It's, it's completely compacted. Um, and Logan's already fixed the barrel once this year uh, before we had the cell camera in there. Now we got the cell camera in there. So we know what exactly he did to it and he he wrecked it pretty hard. So we're, we're kind of in a scenario where we can't, we didn't, we weren't prepared for that to happen last night. So now we kind of got a brainstorm on how we're gonna, we're hoping this bait site takes off. We're really hoping, I mean, once this one takes off, then we got, you know, we're not limited just to, to those two. Um, we like to have options it's just like deer season if we got a spot that's hot you know we'll go sit that stand and if not we got other spots that you know we can go to so we're kind of using it that aspect of you know having more than one's good um, it gives you more options and you're not forced to burn out a bait site yeah um, exactly but we're gives you more opportunity you know and and ultimately, if you've got three baits and you've got 10 bears between the three baits, you know, it's just you play the wind and you just be smart about it. And essentially, we've got two baits right now that we feel can we can do that. And hopefully this third one kicks in. 
but until then you know we'll just we'll keep doing our system our routine and uh, so we'll do some video today nothing crazy but maybe some shots of us going in setting up and whatnot we're not going to talk a lot but uh, at least that's that's our plan for today guys so come along and uh we've still got a long ways until opening day but man it's it's coming in so appreciate you guys tuning in and uh let's get after it On to the next. All right, well, good morning, guys. It is August 26th. Coming down uh, to the wire here for opening day. Uh, just stopped over at Sean's this morning and uh, grabbed some more bait for today. Um, I'm actually right here at our number one bait. We call it the H bait. I think we've got five or six bears on this bait site right now. So it has really been kicking off. And uh, last night we had four bears on the bait, so it's been uh, it's been really cool to see how this site has been able um, to just progressively get better. Um, and our other bait site that we call the W bait, um, that's been getting hit by a 200 plus pounder. The other smaller bear that was in there pretty much um, has been non-existent. He hasn't shown back up, so that bigger bear has kind of taken over that bait site. Um, Unfortunately, he's just not nearly as um, in daylight as a lot of these bears over at this bait that I'm at right now. But maybe at some point within the first or second week of bear season, you know, maybe it'll it'll show up in daylight. I mean, it has shown up in daylight, I think, like three times in the last two weeks. So it's it's very inconsistent. I mean, it'll come in at 1030 every single night um, when we bait. So but that's kind of where we're at right now. And uh also wanted to kind of show you guys what we've been using for bait. Um, I guess the the main mix that we've been using is a mixture of, you know, like peanuts, cashews, almonds, um, and a mix with like peanut butter, jelly, or fluff. Um, and the other stuff that we like to throw in as well, because we like to layer our bait. So it's not just one consistent thing, but it's a multiple different stuff. So we just kind of layer it in, uh, layer it into the uh, into the buckets, and then we just dump it the whole thing. But uh, pumpkin flake is another thing that we like to use. Um, and this confetti, like um, birthday cake mix type stuff. Um, so that's been working extremely well. We've actually tried um, something else too, I just remembered, um, something that we actually call sweet feed. It's corn that's been um, doused in molasses, and that's been another huge, huge um, addition to our, um, to our baits that we've been throwing in for the last two and a half weeks or so, and it seems like the bears have really, really um, come to like it, so... Between all that and uh, and really baiting in the mornings, I think that's what's given us, you know, the success of having a lot of bears on our bait sites. So, um, so really excited. And like I said, it's the 26th. Opening day is uh, this upcoming Monday. So I know Sean is extremely excited. But anyways, I'm going to drive down the road, get the bait set, and I might do a little bit of filming, not a whole lot. But, um, but yeah, so come along, guys.